Hey there and welcome back to Sims Sunday. My name is Peach and as usual this is the series in which we try to complete The Sims 3. In the last episode we got Chastity pregnant and also discovered a beautiful guitar spot with her. We also completed the Everybody's Best Friend Charisma Skill Challenge with Paul, received another promotion with Patrick in the cooking career and we also got Ahisha employed in the part-time career at the spa. Now while Paul is up early and grabbing breakfast right here, let us quickly go back to those part-time careers because in the last episode I said there were three of them. That is not correct because there are actually four. The spa offers two different part-time careers, the spa specialist and the spa receptionist so of course we will try to complete all four. And now we're going to make a pretty expensive purchase. If you have followed this series from the very beginning then you might remember that we once found a pair of SimLife goggles in the trash. We sold those but now we're going to buy a new pair. The reason behind that is that they increase the fun bar much faster than the computer can and that helps us save a bit of time with the working people in the household. Now Paul will not be the one to use them first, instead he will go over to the laptop and begin another novel. I would like him to complete the prolific author skill challenge in the writing skill and that requires him to write 20 books in total. Then Nahisha gets up and she is actually the first user of the SimLife goggles. And as you can see here, her fun bar will fill pretty quickly. Outside we can quickly activate the sprinkler, so that Patrick won't have to do much when he takes care of his garden today. And then inside we can work on getting Paul's fun bar filled. Speaking of fun, it is now also time for Ayesha to put the goggles back down. And then hop in front of the computer to chat a bit, because her social bar is also lacking. Meanwhile, Chastity has gone back to sleep and Paul is writing again until he has to go to work. Then Patrick wakes up and immediately heads out into the garden, but apart from removing a few weeds, he really doesn't have much to do here. Now it is time to send Paul off to work, he had the last few days off because of his marriage and now he can continue to work hard in the politics career. At home a well-rested Chastity can have another watermelon snack. I would really like her to have a girl and I hope that makes sure she does. Inside she is now taking a shower and because of that Patrick cannot, so he will spend a bit of time reading up on the gardening skill. After her shower it is now time for Chastity to grab something that everyone in this household has and that is the Steel Bladder Lifetime Reward. Congratulations, no more toilets for you. With all of that taken care of, I would say it's time to spend another day off making money and improving skills. So let's beam Chastity over to the restaurant again and have her play for tips. And at home, Ahisha has filled her social bar, so it is now time for her to grab something to eat. Then she can take a shower. And then begin another round of collecting. Then over in the garden, Patrick improves his gardening skill to level 8. Normally that's a skill I don't like to improve with a skill book, because it's actually relatively easy to get to level 10 by just doing gardening stuff. Patrick can now take a shower. And then grab something to eat. After that it's time for him to grab the mail, which only contains another copy of one of Paul's books. And then let's have him learn a few more recipes. While we have already completed the menu maven skill challenge in the cooking skill, Patrick does not yet know every recipe. And in true completionist fashion I of course want him to learn them all. And now Ayesha's first shift at the spa begins. She has already improved her work performance a bit by working from home. But now the real work begins and let's see how she does. Just a few moments later it's the end of the workday for Paul and as expected he leaves work with a promotion. Now a campaign intern, Paul has reached level 3 of the politics career. After arriving back home he will continue to write because I really really want the prolific author skill challenge out of the way. 
Outside, Patrick has learned the recipe for stuffed turkey, wonderful. And well, with all of his needs in check, let's continue with another one. And after just three hours of working, Ahisha's shift at the spa comes to an end, and despite having worked with great mood all day, she just barely misses out on the promotion. Seems like we either have to work even longer from home before starting the shift, or just accept the fact that it takes two days for a promotion in the part-time careers. As you can see, Ahisha will now return to collecting, while at home, Patrick learns another recipe. That is enough for now, because I have another thing on his to-do list, and that is to invite his boss over. I will soon explain why. In the meantime, however, Paul finishes his science fiction novel, which also completes an opportunity, giving him an improved relationship with Rhonda Young, as well as a nice cash boost on top. Paul can now grab something to eat, while Patrick has started reading another recipe book, waiting for his boss to arrive. Before she does, however, Paul finishes dinner and can now start another novel, and then outside we can see Candy has arrived. Now, Candy and Patrick are best friends, but the relationship bar is not maxed out yet. And that is exactly what I would like to achieve this evening. Patrick's relationship with his boss is a work performance factor, and as you can see right here, it is just one level below the other three. And here we are now, relationship bar maxed out, everything bright green again. We can now send Candy home and continue reading that recipe book he started earlier. Then on the top right we can see, while playing for tips, Chastity has improved her guitar skill to level 9. Now back at home, Paul has not yet finished his novel, but he is getting tired and also a bit stressed, and tomorrow is another work day, so let's send him off to bed. Then Patrick finishes another recipe, he now knows how to make baked angel food cake, and well, because he isn't that tired just yet, he can go one more round. Over at the restaurant, we can now tell Chastity to stop playing, and we get the info that she just made over 5,000 simoleons in tips. It seems to me that playing for tips is a worthwhile occupation. Back at home, she can now grab something to eat, and then also go to bed. And if I calculate that right, then tomorrow should be the big day for her. One thing after another, however, outside Patrick learns another recipe, and almost at the same time that Ayesha arrives back home, both of them can now head to bed, and we can skip ahead to the next morning. And first up is Paul, who desperately needs a shower. So let's have him take care of that, and then because it's another day of work and his fun bar is a bit lacking, let's have him play with the SimLife goggles. And it is indeed going to be a very special day for Chastity, as you can see on the top right, the baby is coming. So let's have Chastity go to the hospital, while Paul is flying around the living room. And Paul will not go with her, because he has to be at work soon. And with his fun bar now more or less maxed out, he can stop playing and grab something to eat next, while Chastity arrives at the hospital. Now Paul's shift starts at 9, that means he has about an hour until he has to leave, and let's spend that hour reading up on the charisma skill. Just a few moments later, a very very hungry Patrick is awake, and he will prepare himself some fruit buffet for breakfast. And then we can jump back over to the hospital, where we get the happy news that Chastity has given birth to a girl. And of course, I already have a name for her. We will stick with the peas and welcome little Pauline into the complete household. Now up next we have to pick traits for her, and Pauline will be a genius. That allows her to learn the toddler skills a bit faster, and also gives her a nice boost in the logic skill, and we eventually want both of that. And Pauline's second trait will be athletic. That will obviously boost her athletic skill, and I won't spoil it yet, but with those two traits you might be able to already figure out which careers I have planned for Pauline.
back at home while Patrick is eating and Paul is still outside reading, Yisha is awake, and we have just fulfilled her the wish to become a grandmother, so now she will begin another day of collecting. Then switching over to Paul, it is now time for him to stop reading and teleport himself over to City Hall to start his work shift. And look who's arriving back at home. Now of course little Pauline also needs a place to sleep in. Luckily we still have the crypt that Paul and Patrick used in our family inventory. So let's make a bit of room for that inside the house by putting the easel outside and then put the crypt just outside of Paul's and Chastity's bedroom. Then we can fulfill Chastity the wish to snuggle her newborn daughter, then have her play with Pauline a bit and jump outside into the garden with Patrick. While he's weeding the watermelon, we can quickly activate the sprinkler and that should reduce his workload quite considerably. Inside, Chastity can put Pauline in her crib and then take a shower, or at least she could if Patrick didn't steal the spot. Well, then let's teleport Chastity straight over to the restaurant. Yes, despite just giving birth, she will continue to play for tips today. And since Patrick has the day off today, it's not a problem that Chastity is not home. Uncle Patrick will definitely take good care of Pauline. For the moment, however, he can sit down with the gardening skill book. Alright, we skip ahead a bunch of pretty uneventful hours. Paul is still at work, Patrick is reading, Chastity is playing for tips, Pauline is doing toddler things, but for Ahisha, another shift at the spa begins. Today she is definitely due for a promotion, so in roughly three hours we will hopefully have that in the back. Then over at the restaurant, Chastity is getting a bit hungry. I have transferred a few apples from Patrick over to her inventory, so she can now take a quick break in the action. We can see that she has already made over 2000 simoleons and tips. She will now quickly eat two apples and then continue playing. At home, it is now time for Patrick to take care of Pauline. While he makes his way over to the crib, we can quickly set Paul to run errands for his supervisor. He has already maxed out his work performance bar, so now we can work on the relationship with his boss for half an hour. Pauline then gets the bottle from Patrick and also a bit of social interaction. And now we switch over to Paul, whose workday has come to an end. Like I just said, his work performance bar is maxed out, so here we are, another promotion is in store. Paul has just become a yes man, and that added the relationship with his boss as a work performance factor. For the moment it's solid, so we don't have to worry about it, but the higher he rises in the ranks of the politics career, the better that relationship needs to become. Paul arrives back home and instead of having a look at his newborn child, he will immediately sit down in front of the computer. Well, the books don't write themselves. Then we jump over to Chastity, who has the wish to earn 5000 simoleons in tips. And with that last tip right here, that wish gets fulfilled and Chastity earns herself an easy 5000 lifetime happiness points. Back at home, Paul finishes another fiction novel and now it is time for him to have his first interaction with Pauline. She needs her diapers changed and of course her father will gladly take care of that. And while we watch the two, Ahisha's shift at the spa has already come to an end and as expected she has earned her very first promotion. Only one more remains until we have reached the third and final level of that career and maybe we can even tackle another part-time job with her. Now with Pauline back in the crib, Paul can sit down at the dinner table and continue to read up on the charisma skill. Almost at the same time, Patrick learns a new recipe. I have switched him over from the gardening skill to learning recipes. While he won't learn any new recipes by himself, the gardening skill will definitely continue to improve simply by doing gardening work. Patrick will now continue with another recipe book, while Yisha, who has collected a few more gems and rocks, arrives back home. She can now pay the bills and grab the mail and we can begin to send away a few gems and metals, as well as sell a bunch of stuff. Afterwards, she can sit back down in front of the computer and begin to work from home again. While we tell Chastity to stop playing for tips, she has earned roughly 5000 simoleons today and she can now return back home. 
At the dinner table, Patrick learns another recipe, and it seems like all the reading has made him hungry. So while Chastity arrives in the background and hops straight under the shower, Patrick will begin to make himself some dinner. Then Chastity finishes her shower, and it was indeed an exhausting day for her, so let's send her off to bed to get some rest. And since Paul will definitely not reach level 10 of the Charisma skill today, we can do the same with him. <laughs> then, after finishing dinner, Patrick can once again head out into the garden, where we now no longer need a fully grown watermelon plant. That means, with the fruits he has harvested, he can now plant a better quality version. He can, of course, also fertilize that, and we can get rid of the old one. Then it's time for him to turn back to a skill that we have neglected a bit, and that is fishing. We will not improve the skill any further, but he will read another bait book. Inside, Ayesha has become a bit stressed and is also getting late, and little Pauline once again needs attention. So grandmother Ayesha will now go over to the crib and of course take care of her. Uh, oh. And with Pauline tended to, Ayesha can now go to bed, while quite a few hours later Patrick finally finishes the bait book for lobster and angelfish, and that means he can now also finally get some sleep. And with that, let's make a cut in this episode. Today we witnessed the birth of our third generation, and if I have planned everything right, then Pauline will actually be the one to bring this series to completion. That is very far down the line, however. For now, let's only look ahead to next week, which marks episode 50 of Sims Sunday. And if you want to see something special for that occasion, please leave a comment below, and I will think about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.